Schlapper from Treeland Resorts up in Hayward, Wisconsin. We're excited to be hosting our third annual Treeland Premier Muskie Fly Fishing Championship. This year we have 50 entrants in the tournament, uh, all over from, we have local people, we have the Midwest well represented, the East Coast, the West Coast, Wyoming, Colorado, one lone Canadian. So we've got people from all over. They're gonna hit not just the Chippewa flowage, but all the lakes, rivers, streams, creeks, everything surrounding us here. Uh, as far going up into Bayfield County, down to Rust County, Washburn County. So we'll see how many big fish they can bring in from the waters all over. Yeah, try the job here waiting. We got a few more. We got a whole bunch of you gone. We got a few more left in there. So we'll be going on here for a little bit yet. And remember, we got prime rib tonight as well. And then door prizes. Bill casting contest for nice fly box. Day one would start off with a 45 minute drive north and then a quick stop for some much needed lunch meat. Not for us, but for some friends we are inviting for lunch. Two, okay. Two for now, I think, and then we'll get, we're gonna be here all week, so. Okay. They're pretty much all the same size. and Ben Olson and we we're on a little small Mike's talked about for many years little hidden gems and we're going into one right now um, it's a lake that doesn't get fished very much you got to go up through a channel it's a series of uh, lakes here and we're gonna go give it a shot we're gonna be staying at Treelands Resorts for the next few days they got a big event going on a fly fishing deal and we're gonna kind of film a little bit of that it's kind of neat the uh, so we're gonna be fishing ourselves, doing some different stuff. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great clips. It's going to be great. One lucky winner will be picked to fish with the guys from Keys Outdoors. The winner will win some awesome fishing gear and a $100 Quick Trip gift card. Just log into your Quick Rewards app, click the sweepstake icon at the bottom, then choose the Musky Adventure sweepstake. Every Quick Trip visit you have could be an entry. The more visits you have, the more chances you have to win. Good luck, and we hope to see you in our boat.
It's all about the muskies. Georgia's Minnesota Muskie Expo. Guides, resorts, boats, manufacturers with the latest muskie gear and special show offers. Seminars from some of the top muskie anglers. Fun for the whole family. March 8th through the 10th. Georgia's Minnesota Muskie Expo. Some of us, well, we're just not meant to be around other people. We're just fine with our own company. No distractions, quiet. But this is my time. What's the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's gonna be great. Tell you what, this is one of the things we live for at Keys Outdoors. Right now, we're about to drive through a culvert and go to a new little lake that we haven't fished before. Is it 20 and a half spot really guys this is a testimony for the skeeter boats i mean skinny narrow water a 21 foot boat that you can get in there but yet fish the great lakes with it it is the ultimate in fishing platforms Patch. It's straight ahead of me, right, Ben? Oh, I see it right here. I see the tops. Oh, big fish, huge fish. Yeah. Huge fish. Was it big? You got that. Oh, oh. Oh, here we go. He's got the sucker. He's got the sucker. He's got the sucker. Did you drop it? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I don't even know if he had it, but the sucker, I mean, he's on him. No, he's. No, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it, Dave. He's going away from it. Got him. Got him. Oh, dude, it's a huge it's fish. A huge fish. Huge fish. Got the yeah, I'm here. Dude, it's a great big fish. Great big fish. Big fish. Huge, man. Yeah, that's the one, dude. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Here, Ben. Watch yeah. your weird angle. Grab those rods. Oh my God, is that a nice fish? Oh, dang! <laughs> that is the beauty. You call? Tell you what, guys, this is exciting because oh. we made a call, like we do on Keys Outdoors. Go to a new little hidden gem, and Mike calls this all the time, hidden gems. And this is a hidden gem. Get out and adventure. That is the path. That thing came flying up on a 10-9 Junior. Turned off, headed right back for the sucker. 
It couldn't have gone any more perfect than it did. I'll take another high five. That is a strong, big, heavy, heavy, beautiful northern Wisconsin beast. You called for a 47 today, that might be it. I think that's it, man. Hold it. Oh my god! Look at the size of that big Wisconsin beauty, guys. Welcome to Keys Outdoors, little tree lens action this week. Northern Wisconsin, well-built muskie with some great friends. That's where we're having a good time. Are you still home? Yeah, it does. I saw that. It. It, it's not the bone. Of the I've been fishing this body of water for many years. It's a big chain of lakes and it just, it's got always had great potential. And this is just a small runoff on here. And kind of talked to Mike and he says, I think we should go give it a try. And he's always game for whatever. So we uh, we rolled in here and this is what we tried. And it's, it's really panned out so far. You just don't know what to expect, but here in the Hayward area, you kind of have it all. You have some water with a lot of numbers. You have a lot of action water with smaller fish, but then you always have a shot at a fish like that up here. Wait, Dave. He's coming towards me. Drive away. No pressure on him. You drop it. You want me to drive away? No, no. Just stay here. Dude, the line was. Yeah, wedged in there. Wedged the in there, bad. Spot. Pick up on it once, do it. Oh, he's there. There you go. Are you ready? There you go. Got him. All right, fish number two, baby. The meat. It looks like a good one. Oh, it's a nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish, bud. All right. I'm gonna bring him around this way. Oh, another great oh, big another fish. Another big fish. Big fish, big fish Benny. Dude. I'm it is big. Get ready. tension there and all. It's a great big one, Ben. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. It's getting ready to take him on this side, bud. There you go. Turn up the camera again. Oh, hold on, I'm filming it. Oh, he's off. I had tension the whole time. Yeah. That was a really nice fish. That was a 45. You got a lot of day Oh, come on, man. What Stop the these. hell? Stop these. We should have taken her in the back corner here, but try to bring her around um, so Ben could get a clear shot. We've got cameras set up behind us and stuff and I just didn't feel comfortable taking her in that back corner. So that was a nice fish, 45 incher. Again, the power of the meat paid off once again. Um, you know, what are you gonna do? But we got still a lot of time. We're here for two days. So we're liking what we're seeing and uh, 
Man, my heart is just going big time. That was a big fish, 45 incher for sure. So back to work. would come to a close with one monster muskie in the bag. We would head back to Tree Lens to see how the boys in the third annual Tree Limb Premier Muskie Fishing Championship did, and then off to bed. First day, these are going to be worn. Well, it's day two up here in the Hayward Lakes area out of Treelands Resort. We got a weather change today. It's that time of year. The weather changes every five minutes. So you just gotta roll with it and see what happens. We're out here on a little bit bigger body of water today. Kind of take what we learned yesterday and apply it to this. It's a little bit larger lake in the same chain of lakes, but just a giant beautiful fish yesterday. Another shot at a giant one. Mike's already had one up this morning on a bucktail and I just had one up on a fly. We're up here covering the Treeland's premier world championship musky fly fishing tournament. Uh, had a great prime rib dinner, got to hang out with the boys last night and today's the day. So we'll see what they do, we'll see what we can come up with. We're out here grinding, it's a little chilly. We had to get out the insulated Sims gear today, but so far fish are moving a little bit. So let's see what we can get done, stick with us. And what we've done is we've kind of changed things up a little bit. Uh, Ben's working a fly, a slower presentation. I'm coming in the second hole with a bucktail, a 10-9 combo by Muskie Mayhem. White is a very good color on this uh, body of water here. There's a lot of Cisco's in here. So, and then Dave is throwing a phantom crankbait, the uh, Hex and he's getting down a little bit deeper. And that's pretty much what we've been doing the last couple days is working the different water column and seeing where these fish are. Uh, ben had that monster up yesterday and it turned around and ate that sucker, but that was on a black over black Team Rhino color. And uh, I may switch to that in a little bit, but I wanted to try this white, something that just a little pop color and see, and I moved a couple fish on it already. But we're looking for a big one. Get him. Get him, dude. Got him. Get 
fish no matter where you are that is a giant pike we saw that fish come up in porpoise he went straight down and came big back and that's a big bite oh man i'm gonna take it on the hall and then we can just send it to me yeah there got the hooks out Oh, that is a giant pike. Just a beautiful pike. Out here, I mean, this fish is doing the same things, eating the same things as those big muskies. 40, right on, 40. 40 inch, low 20 pound northern pike up here in the Hayward area, fishing on a Treelands Resort. Super fun trip so far. Got a giant, giant, world-class muskie. This is a world-class pike right here. constantly fight while sucker fishing right there baby loon all right guys so it's about seven o'clock we're on the, the last last minute here for us so uh, we got about an, maybe an hour left if we're lucky we're going working our way back up the shoreline towards a great big fish Ben's working a fly Mike's working a team rhino bulldog and I'm working a team rhino bulldog as well and uh, it's one of the unique things about those guys. They got a lot of cool colors. This is this is the actual bulldog that it came up on, and uh, it's a great color. And I wish we could have got it. Big fish. Big fish. Big, 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 big fish. Here we go. Nope. Yeah! 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 Mike, look at this. That's what we work all day for, man. All day. Unbelievable. We knew some big fish were in this area, and we came back three times on this spot. 
And lo and behold, here she is. What a way to end the day, buddy. Nice work. <laughs> redemption, redemption. Oh, I feel so much better now. So we learned something yesterday. You know, we lost that really nice fish on a sucker yesterday, and Mike and I kind of went back and forth about if we should have netted it in the back corner. And I thought it was a pretty aggressive net shot, but having learned that, when Mike brought that fish up on this corner, I took a really aggressive net shot because I knew that's what you wanted. Right, and I knew well, right, after right. what happened yesterday. We both were on the same page. I was so like, you, we gotta go for it right yep. now. Got her in the net and the hooks came out. That she way. literally spit the suckers Ooh. laying in there next to her. <laughs> Good job, nice buddy. Work, it's teamwork, buddy. it's Beautiful teamwork. Fish. And I'll tell you what, guys. Today we've had to deal with just tremendous winds and uh, it's not fun at times, but I'll tell you what, you know, people don't realize the guy in the back of the boat, running the boat, taking care of the sucker, plus trying to fish. So kudos to Dave for putting us on that fish. We had up a bigger fish just right down from here. Earlier today, Dave had it up on a bulldog. And like I said, three times we came back and uh, wanted to work this, this fish. And lo and behold, there was another one here, a little smaller, but we'll take it. I'll tell you what guys, we're having a blast up here. Hayward, we're here for the Tree Lens World Championship fly fishing and it's going to be really fun to go in tonight and see exactly how the boys did. Two fish for us, plenty of opportunities. The Hayward area is, it's well worth it man. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Right on man, Northern Wisconsin. Fishing with good friends up here. Another sucker fish in the bag. Woohoo! Absolutely, positively love it. You work so hard, you work all day, and you're like, when is it going to happen? And when it does, it's all worthwhile. Oh, 46 inch Northern Wisconsin Muskie! Yeah, baby. Let's let her go back. We've got everything on, uh, on the board, on the table. We're ready to go. We're going to give a big thank you to all of our sponsors for helping us with the third annual Trailer for Beer Fly Fishing Championship. Uh, you have 20 muskies registered today, the largest being 43 and a half inches, a beautiful fish. That brings your two day total to 50 registered muskies. That's a nice two day total. Oh, no, 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 no. We found, we did find one more envelope. Yes, and it does have $50 more in cold. Ha! 